If you're the Chicago Blackhawks and you're looking to close out Philadelphia in their house in game six, the last thing you want to do is anger or motivate anybody on their team, let alone Chris Pronger. And they haven't, but their hometown newspaper just did. Check out this full page poster of Pronger photoshopped with a figure skating skirt and the headline Chrissy Pronger. Whoa, are you kidding me with that? Calling a man a woman's name? Demeaning to female athletes generally and insulting to Pronger individually. And Chrissy, no less? Hey, stay classy, Chicago Tribune. I mean, are you a major metropolitan newspaper or mad magazine? I mean, who do you think you are? Me? Trust me, I have been down this road before, and it does not end well. You would think that you would learn from the mistakes made by those who came before you, but if you're resorting to this sort of sophomoric, demeaning garbage, you clearly have not learned anything. And if you were looking to hook Pronger, that didn't work either. He didn't take the bait. I don't read what you guys write, so good or bad. Well, they have a, they have a picture of you Next question. in a figure skating dress. And Next I was just question. wondering, do you Next get motivated? Question. You get motivated by the reaction you get in Chicago, and does that motivate you even more? I really couldn't care, to be honest with you. Well, if anything, that poster shows that Pronger is right where he always is, under the other guy's skin and in his dome. Game 7 should be epic, and memo to the Chicago Tribune, stop calling men women's names. I bet you don't do it again.